five minutes later. I mean, who doesn't love a hardware upgrade? Yes, hardware upgrade after the product has been delivered. I sure am a big fan of those and wholeheartedly appreciate them. Now, if we backtrack for a quick minute, watch this portion of my GPD WinMax 2 review. On the WinMax 2, the sound remains slightly muddled, all on the same layer, not bringing as much depth or detail. As it turns out, this feature, which really was the only substantial negative I had for the WinMax 2, has been greatly improved in the form of a better tuned sound profile. This amazing upgrade comes from a Discord user from the GPD Devices Discord, which I'll link below. If you are not already a member, I greatly recommend hanging in these parts to find people of common interest and be part of an amazing community. So the user by the name of Brother Sony WWDD30 has graciously shared this tweak using the free software FX Sound. Thank you very much, Sony WWDD30, as this straight up transformed the speakers of the WinMax 2. And while I would still give the upper hand to the Steam Deck's audio, the gap is incredibly small with this quick fix and is no longer a concern at all. So before we get into the how to get this done for yourself, if you are into anything gaming and tech, don't hesitate to sub and hit the bell notification for more videos. We are a young channel, but are very much dedicated to growing big. So come be a part of the movement and be able to say that you were there early in, I don't know, say a year, two years, or three years from now, I'm not going anywhere anyway. I'll link the files if you prefer to grab them from the, the information box of the video, but I will also show you how the files are being shared on the Discord I mentioned. So first, you want to follow the invite link, uh, get accustomed with the rules you know, and everything, and once it is done, go to the hashtag Max2General channel. From there, on the top bar, you'll find the little pin icon, click on it, and look for the post from our good friend brother Sony WWDD30 where you'll have all the links necessary as well as many other stuff pertaining to the WinMax 2. Again, I greatly recommend these parts. Anyways, so first, we'll make sure to download our sound profile. That's the wm 2 underscore v 2fac Make sure to save it in a place that you are familiar with. And then we'll also go to www.fxsound.com and download the free software. Do the quick installation of FX Sound, which should take no more than five minutes, if not less. Once it is done, of course, open the software, and very important, you must import the profile, which is the file we have saved. So go grab the file, I personally saved it on my desktop, and from there, the profile is loaded into the software. So you are free to get rid of that file if you want, uh, by then. So the last part you want to do is to simply make sure that you select the actual sound profile and FX sound. Once that is done, that's it, congratulations. Now please, if you have a WinMax 2, let me know in the comments down below if you've applied those settings to your device and did you hear the difference. So let's have a quick chat about what you should expect, but to do this, let's describe the speakers prior to this little tweak. The speakers on the WinMax 2 are by default what I would call serviceable. They work, so you know, that's a good start. All kidding aside, it's nothing to write home about. It's a little shrieky, it's way too high pitch, there's little to no bass noticeable. It's just an overall unbalanced sound profile that tends to be more on the high pitch side of, side of things, which is fairly often the case in cheap non-brand speakers. Now, the interesting thing is that I've seen FX Sound tweak some speakers in the past, but I had never seen a speaker change so drastically with it. And that's what completely blew my mind. Once the tweak is applied, your speakers no longer shriek, nor are they super high pitch, whiny-like. Rather, you finally hear some thump, some bass, and it's not overpowering your mids and your highs. 
making me believe that the WinMax 2 actually does have decent speakers. Honestly, if GPD watches this, please upgrade your factory settings with these because they are so much better. Anyways, but yeah, this is it guys. You know, just, just spreading the word. But honestly, you do not want to miss this tweak. And before we end this video, please know that this is not a miracle for any speakers. You know, that's not how this works. So you're free to try on another device, but expect different results. That should work specifically with WinMax 2. And truth be told, if GPD was to change components such as the speaker over the life cycle of the device, you could potentially have very different results. As far as I know, anyone who ordered the device from the IgG campaign is most likely to see a major upgrade with the sound profile. And that's it for me. Thank you all for your support and thank you for watching.